front of your eyes Get woke, stay woke, and realize Wake up, and internalize Get woke, stay woke, and open your eyes Wake up, it's in front of your eyes Get woke, stay woke, and realize Wake up, and internalize Get woke, stay woke, and open your eyes Wake up, stay woke what it do, YouTube? Woke Red here, back at you another video. Peace to the woke nation. Woo woo! All right, so you see the topic, I'm gonna talk about Kyrie Irving and how they're trying to divide and conquer us. Now, if you're new to my channel, you never ever checked me out before, well, I'm Woke Reg. I'm here to wake you up from the matrix. And all I want you to do is Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my woke videos. Give me a like, it's gonna help out this channel, it's gonna help out this video if I can get a like. Drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on what I'm talking about today. And share this everywhere, help me get to 3,000 subscribers because once I get there, I'm gonna give away a free t-shirt that says, get woke, stay woke, and also have other shirts that say Woke Ridge, and I have another shirt that says No Matrix. So, if you want to get a free shirt, just leave a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed. All right, so Kyrie Irving. Now, if you don't know who Kyrie Irving is, he's a basketball player that plays for Brooklyn Nets, and he's refusing to get the jab. Now, I'm gonna say the jab throughout this video because YouTube don't like uh, certain people that's trying to put the truth out there. They don't like certain people saying the V word. So that's why I'm gonna say the jab because I'm one of those certain people that's trying to put the truth out there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to watch what I say. And also the C word. I'm going to say the C word if you know what I'm talking about. If I'm talking about the jab, you already know what I'm talking about, the C word, what the C word is. But anyway, so Kyrie Irving, he says, no, I don't want the jab because this is my body, my choice. He's not saying don't take it. He's not one, He's not a anti. He's saying this is my choice. You do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. And I don't feel comfortable putting this in my body. So, he's saying, please respect what I want for my body. Because it's me. It's my body, not yours. And then he also said that the Brooklyn Nets, at the beginning of this season, said there won't be any mandates. But if New York says a mandate, he can't really, you know, say that they went against, you know, that they changed their mind or whatever. You know, that's New York. You know, Brooklyn Nets don't have nothing to do with what the city says they want or the state. So I understand that. But him not wanting to get the jab, hey, that's his decision. But you got these sports analysts and commentators coming for his head saying he's being selfish because you know the team has two stars with three stars with Kirk Kyrie Irving they have James Harden they used to play for the Rockets and uh Kevin Garnett so did I say Kevin Garnett I'm sorry I mean Kevin Durant uh, so they have James Harden and Kevin Durant. And with Kyrie, you know, that's, that's a three-headed monster right there. You know, those are three superstars. They can go to the championship. So you got these commentators saying, you're being selfish. You're going to cause Brooklyn Nets a championship. I'm like, what? You know, these commentators like Stephen A., Shannon Sharp. And all these other uh, sports analysts, you know, people from CNN, Fox, you know, all the news outlets, 
they saying he's being selfish, he's being stupid, you know, things like that. This uh, other uh, woman that's for, I think, MSNBC, uh, Joy Reid, I do not like her. She's act like a Uncle Tom or I ain't, I ain't your mama. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something. But anyway, so they saying that he's wrong, that he's uh, being selfish, that he should take the jab and just conform. But Kyrie said, Kyrie said, no, I'm not conforming. I don't, I need more information about this V word. And I'm here for my family. This is bigger than basketball. This is life or death. You know what I'm saying? So I stand with them. But everybody that's standing with Kyrie is getting villain, you know, getting vilified they getting criticized you know what i'm saying saying you shouldn't stand by him because he's being selfish and he's uh putting people in harm's way by not taking a jab because if he does go if they let him play they saying he probably got it and pass it on to other people then what you worry about if everybody else is 95 percent of the uh people in the nba uh, and everybody on your team got the V word, you shouldn't have to worry. You shouldn't have to worry. You're not going to catch it, right? You're not going to catch nothing, right? Because it's 100%, uh, it's 100% uh, uh, foolproof that you won't. Man, I'm going I'm to stop. I'm going to stop. But anyway, so I stand with him. Now, here's where the division come up, come into play. It's being, this is being played on all news outlets. It's everywhere, you know. He's like the poster boy for anti-V word, which he's not an anti-V word because he's not telling people not to take it. He's saying he's not going to take it. So he's out there. His name, his name is out there. He's a public figure. He's a popular basketball player. He's a sports figure. So a lot of people watch him, look up to him. So he's putting out, he's out there as a poster boy and they putting him on the anti side and then you got the V side, the people that are not anti. So they, the media are trying to say they're the good people and these other people are the bad people. And that's what the elites like to do. They like to pit one group against another because it makes the news, and also it has one group fighting against another. It's, that's another distraction, and it gives off a certain type of energy that these elites want to be put out into the society because that's how they've been doing it all these years. You know, you got Republican against Democrat. That's always, they're going back and forth. You have white against black. That's always going on. So they got all different type of things going on to keep us separated. So now there's another thing, to be, another uh, way to separate us. You know what I'm saying? So this is all a game. It's all uh, a ploy to distract us and to keep us fighting each other. And then they can get their ultimate goal where they'll conquer every, everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying for us physically, I'm talking about mentally, because they're trying to conquer your brain. They're trying to brainwash you and make you a slave. That's their ultimate goal, to make you a slave or like a robot. You know what I'm saying? So don't fall for the okie doke. So like I said before, guys, Keep your mind clear. Don't watch the news. I'm only watching the news because I don't really I find this out on the internet. I really don't watch the news. You know what I'm saying? I might watch the weather or something like that. But don't watch the news. Stop watching a whole bunch of uh, uh, movies about killing and stuff, about fear. Because they, they just want to put fear in you guys. Stop all that. Pray, meditate. 
you know, go within, always go within, you know what I'm saying? And make sure you eat right. Now I might make a video, let me know if you wanna make a video about what we should eat, and what we need to stop eating. It's gonna shock you what I'm gonna tell you, what you need to stop eating. But uh, let me know guys, if you wanna make a video on that. But that's it, that's all I'm, I got to say today on this topic. If you're new, again, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my woke videos. Give me a like, drop a comment down below. I want to know you guys' thoughts. Share this everywhere. Help me get to 3,000 subscribers so I can give away a free shirt. And guys, please make sure you meditate. Pray. Everything's going to be all right. Until next time, Woke Ridge is out. Peace. Get woke and stay woke.